Hello, everyone. I'm so happy and excited to be here tonight. You know, God does love you so much, and I love you too. I also get a lot of emails asking for help. Something wonderful happens when you've connected to heaven and you bring truth from heaven. It opens up your heart about the Father, about yourself, about His plans for you. Well, right now in this day on the earth, He wants you whole. His Word says that He desires above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Isn't it amazing that he adds that part, that there's a requirement for us to prosper? And I know there's so many issues right now in your lives and things that you're going through. Maybe maybe your country is at war. Maybe you're without a home. Maybe you have just faced abuse in your life. You know, God wants you free from all of that, and He has given us something to do that. He has given us the keys to the kingdom. I know the Father has spent many hours with me talking to me about the soul. He actually showed me how He had made our soul and put it together. It's very special. It's wonderful. It's actually beautiful. And most of the times we talk about the soul, it's in the negative. But you know what? God made your soul, and it's powerful, and it's amazing. Your soul is your will. It's what you choose, it's your mind, it's what you think about, and it's your emotions. That's pretty much all of you, isn't it? Well, tonight, we're going to help you be free of anything in your soul that's hindering you, that's causing attack, torment, um, keeping you back from the things of God. It'll even help set you free from unforgiveness or offense. You know, all these are things that open the doors for the enemy to mess with you. And did you, did you know that even hidden wounds or hidden hurts can also leave the door open for the enemy to mess with you? Well, we want to stop that. We want to help you to know that God is for you. He's not against you. And so he has given a way for that to happen. And he showed me the keys to the kingdom. It is about loosing and binding. And, you know, it's offered to everybody out there. If you're born again, child of God, you have the right to be free of any darkness, anything of the enemy in your life. So if you've reached a point where you are desperate to know him, to be free, to live a joy, a life of joy and victory, that's where he wants you. He put us on this earth to make a difference. You know, we're not just some little people trying to get by and survive. We're supposed to be victorious in this earth. And by your soul being free, that is going to help you in so many ways. I'm going to give a few examples of what I mean. Uh, there was somebody who had a really strong addiction in their life. You know, even that has to do with your soul. Every time you give yourself to something, you give a part of your soul to that thing. And then a part of that is deposited in your soul. That's what makes you think about it. It's what makes you choose it. And then eventually you're going to do it. And so if you, if you give yourself to an addiction that's deposited in your soul, that's what makes you think about it all the time. Even the desire to have that again, it's about your soul. People think it's just your flesh. But you know if you lose that, if you choose to lose that from your soul, and it has to leave because what you lose on earth is loosed in heaven. That's what the keys to the kingdom are. Uh, we've known people that face torment uh, a lot of their early years and for 40 years carried that on the inside of themselves. It still affected their life. And you know what? After sharing this message with them, they were able to loose all of that abuse from their soul, even what they faced years ago. And it was taken out by heaven. The Holy Spirit comes and removes it. And it was like it never happened. Isn't that amazing that God, the creator of everything, made us that way? that we could be free by choosing to be free. Now, I'll let you know that it will try to come back sometimes, but it will no longer be inside you, pulling you or, 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 or pushing you to do things. Amen? So tonight, we're going to learn how to do this. It's very simple. I'm going to explain simply what it is, but... Before I do that, let me share one other thing that's really just as important. It's about ruling and reigning with Christ. It's about pushing back darkness. You know we're not supposed to tolerate darkness in our life. You know the Word says, I give you power over all the power of the enemy. How about that? That means that the enemy should not be allowed to beat us up, to steal our joy and take things from us. But we've allowed him to rule and reign in this world and not use our authority. But in this time on the earth that the Father calls the kingdom age, that's uh, that's being his will being done on earth as it is in heaven. Well, let me tell you, in heaven, they are free of lack. They are free of anything attacking them. They're free in, to joy and live their life in, in joy and in fullness, and that's what he wants for you. So let me tell you something. 
You open the front door of your home first, and you command all darkness, anything of the enemy, you evict them from your home. You have a right to do that as a believer. You don't have to tolerate him taking over your atmosphere or the atmosphere of where you live, even your neighborhood. This is something that you learn to walk in. This is what he wants us to do. It's part of ruling. You know, when Christ was on this earth, he never tolerated darkness. He was never afraid of the darkness. He actually stood there and said, there's no darkness, there's none of him in me. We can stand as a real believer, living a life of victory and not have anything an enemy in our life. So if you're ready to be free of that, and once you're free of that, we're gonna, we're gonna bind the love of God, the life of God, the joy of the Lord. You can bind things to your soul also, and then you're gonna be filled with God, and your soul will begin to prosper. So I hope you're excited about this. I know you may not know me, but let me tell you, we are all family. I don't care what nation you're from. I don't care what position you're in. I don't care what age you're is. In heaven, we are a family. We need to learn to love like that family in heaven does. Even though they don't have jobs or they don't have to make money or, or make a living in heaven, they have events going on all the time. And everybody wants to help support them. They want to be a part of what they're doing. The body of Christ needs to learn to lay down their differences and love. Don't you know we're supposed to let the world know us by what? By our love for each other? Well, it's about time the body of Christ starts started doing that and stopped fighting. You know, in heaven, there's no denominations. I'm sorry if you're expecting that. We are a family. We all enjoy our life together. And right now on this earth, it's so important that we work together for this move of God that's about to touch this earth. It's going to shake this earth and stun people with the power of God that's going to be demonstrated. And you need to be a part of it. He wants you to be a part. You are not insignificant to the Father. He has a plan for your life. He wrote on a scroll. It's in heaven. Every day of your life you wrote for joy, for victory on this earth. It's about time we started taking authority and pushing back darkness. So I want you to know he wants you to be a part. So in just in a few minutes, we're going to go back over here and we're going to lead you into these declarations and you have to choose with your will. Really search your heart right now for anything you know that you want to be rid of. It, it doesn't matter really what it is, if it's poverty, lack, offense, unbelief, you know, fear, anything in your life, any addiction, any anything that, that's not of God, anything that doesn't keep the image of God, you need to loose all that from your soul and then you will be free. We've done this with whole congregations and let me tell you, things ran out of people, things were broken off of people, things they've been battling with their whole life, they were free immediately. This is a time on earth that things are gonna be accelerated. Your blessings, intercessions being accelerated and this is deliverance, it's being accelerated by the Father because you know what? He doesn't have six months for us to go through counseling to be well. He wants us to start operating in the keys of the kingdom. He wants us to understand who he is and who you are. You are a child in the most high God. You lived in him before you came to this earth. He had a purpose for you. The enemy from the time you were born, he targeted you to pull you down, to steal things from you, to steal the image that God made you in. He wants you totally free from anything that the enemy has brought to you or you have even taken or gone after from him. I want you to know that we're supposed to fill ourselves with God. And every time you love somebody, you are blessing heaven. You're, you're reaping rewards in heaven for yourself. It's going to make your life happier on this earth. You know, God put us here for a purpose. We're, we are a believer. We believe in the blood of Jesus Christ. It is the only way to heaven. But I want you to know that even as someone is dying, Christ can reach them. If you have prayed and declared over their life, you know what the word says? If you abide in him and his word abides in you, you can ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. You can make a stand for your family members and for those that you love like family. The word says you and your household shall be saved. It doesn't say maybe. You need to understand that power has been put in your mouth. The power of life and death is in your tongue. If you don't like who you are, start saying things differently about yourself. Get up in the morning and thank God that you're alive, that you're here to make a difference. You need to declare and decree over the day so that the enemy doesn't come in and try to make that happen for you. You know that you can even ask for grace for abundant life. The word says, come before the throne of grace to find grace for help in time of need. This is also something important for you to have that'll help change your life 
in the morning when you wake up, before you get out of your bed, this is what the Father said to me, if you will look up to heaven and say, Father, I ask for and receive grace for this day, he will download into you fuel from heaven for abundant life. You won't respond the same. You won't react the same. It'll be hard for you to be pulled into fear or anything like that. It's like you're filled with what you need for that day. Only heaven knows what you need. And this offer from the throne of grace. You know, the word says that God filled his son with with that grace while he was a child on the earth and it helped him through his whole life. Well, he wants you to know that Jesus was sent that so we could have life and have it what? More abundantly. That means we should have abundant life. And you know what? You can ask for it every day of your life. It changed me. My family noticed. My staff noticed. So I taught them how to do that. I actually have a sign on my door saying, did you ask for grace? So please remember this. Every morning you ask for that grace and he will fill you with life and you'll be surprised how much it affects you. And so now we're going to go ahead and um, proceed with being free. Your soul is amazing. I'm going to explain it to you so you understand how your soul operates. Your will is in the center of your soul. It's like this beautiful column that God wrote beautiful things on. And up through that, that will is your mind. Your mind is all connected. It's all connected. And off of this, this column that is your will are layers of your soul. Your soul has layers in it. And in between all these layers, deposits are made. And you get to choose, unless, of course, you're a child, you choose what goes in there. Every word you speak yourself goes in your own soul, even words you speak speak to other people. What you watch with your eyes is deposited in your soul. What you listen to with your ears is put in your soul. So maybe you understand why you're having some issues in your life. Maybe we need to change what we're allowing. And the word says, guard your heart. That is the core of your being for out of it flows the issues of life. So your soul is precious. It's beautiful. And actually when you're born again and you give yourself to Jesus, you give him a layer of your soul. Every layer of your soul looks like a transparent image of you. And when that happens at that moment, he takes that layer of your soul that is you and he seats it in heavenly places. That's how that happens. How about that? You have a representation of yourself already seated in heaven. So he wants you to know that, that things, when you get a commission given to you on the earth, your layer of your soul is brought into the commissioning throne room. And as you're placing, a, he's placing a mantle on you down here, it's being placed on that layer of your soul. Your soul is precious. You right now today are going to learn how to loose all darkness. So you need to really get together in your mind what you want loosed from your soul. And let me tell you, your will can override your flesh. Even if you think it's impossible to forgive people or to ask for, you know, unforgiveness to be loose from you or ask for offense to be loose from you, you can choose with your will to say those words and God will loose it from your soul. This is going to be an amazing moment for millions of people around this world. Anybody who watches this later, this is something God the Father is giving you, not just to be free now, but anytime somebody verbally attacks you or something happens in your life, you can turn right around and choose with your will to loose it and immediately. And it's like it was never there. It's amazing. I know I prayed with Wendy myself for this to happen and it has helped to change her life and help her. I myself have had to do this many times in my own life when I've been under attack or things have happened to us. And we at one time in our own, own, own organization had someone who was on our board that tried to steal everything from us. We know what that's like to be attacked by people that you love and care about. You know what? We've loosed all that. We, we have no um, offense against that. That person, we're still praying for them. God, God wants you free. So right now, Wendy and I, we're going to go over here. We're going to help pray for you to be free in your soul. So just get ready. Amen. So you, it's a step of faith like everything else. You're believing what the Father says. The keys of the kingdom, what you loose on earth, will be loosed in heaven. So Wendy, go ahead and declare it. Say, Father. Father. I choose. I choose. As an act of my will. As an act of my will. To loose. To loose. All the pain. All the pain. All the rejection. All the rejection. All the abandonment. All the abandonment. All of the fear. All of the fear. And any of you who have this, you yes, do this too. Yes, yes. All, all of, of the, the hurt. hurt. All of the hurt. Any concerns. Any concerns. Right now. Right now. I choose. I choose. To loose it. To loose it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I thank you, heaven. I thank you, heaven. For removing it from for me. For removing it completely, from me. Completely. Completely. Totally. Totally. Utterly. Utterly. 
That I can be whole. That I can be whole. I receive it. I receive it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now see, right now, I can feel things being pulled out of you. I can see stuff leaving oh. you. The Holy Spirit actually comes oh. in and removes it from your soul. And I, this is an awesome deep work that he's doing on anyone oh. out there that you need stuff loose from your soul right oh. now. You just say, Father, I choose with my will to loose that addiction, to loose that abuse. Even if it was from a child right now, I choose that I do not want it in my soul. No, I loose any it. darkness, any hate, any unforgiveness right now. I choose with my own will to loose it in Jesus' name. And right now, all over the world, you can even lose lack. You can lose poverty, lose offense from your soul. You just, choose, just choose with your will them, you tell in them Jesus' what to name. Say so that yeah, they you can say, I you. choose as an act of my will right now that I no longer want this bondage in my life. I choose to loose all the fear, all the hate, all the anger, all the unbelief, any fear, any addiction right now. I choose to loose you from my soul. I choose to loose offense. I loose a abuse. I lose any images that were put in me from mm -hmm. my childhood on up that I'll be free. I choose to loose it right now yeah. in Jesus' name. I thank you, this heaven, for the, bringing it out of me from heaven in Jesus' name. This pornography, someone yes. that they need to Yes, you Father, I choose that? to loose all the pornographic what? images. Yes, I choose Father. to loose all of the, any addictions, Father, right now. I choose with my will. I no longer want these images in me. I loose them from my soul in Jesus' name, and I lose homosexuality yes. from my soul right now. Yes. I don't want yes. to do that anymore. It's not normal. It's not the image of God. I want what you have for me, Father. So right now, I choose to loose it right now. And we evict you, darkness, from those people's souls right now. You will no longer control them. You have no right to remain in them. Heaven is taking you out right now. This is your day, and it is gone and over. You will no longer control the people of God in this world. You have no right or authority. We have power over you, over all the power of the enemy. And Are the body of Christ is going to stand up right now and be who we're called to be. We rule and reign with Christ in this world. We will no longer take your addictions, your hate, your offense, your spirits, your unclean spirits. Get out of those people right now. Your spirits of murder, of hate, of anguish, of abuse. Be free. Be free. Be free in Jesus' name. I declare from heaven they are now removing it from you. Say, I receive it in Jesus' name. I break any soul ties with those who've abused me, for those who've misused me right now. I break that soul tie. You say it with your words. I choose to break that soul tie and no longer hold me to that abuse, to that fear, to that rejection, to that hate. It's broken in Jesus' name because you have the keys to the kingdom. They're offered you. Jesus said, what we loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. This is a heaven thing. You don't have to loose it from yourself. You just have to choose to have it loose. Heaven is going to deal with the rest of it. And Father, I thank you right now that everywhere people are being set free right now from this word. This comes from you, Father, because you love That's us. Right. Because your word says you desire above all things that we That's prosper right. and we walk thank in you, health Father. even as our soul thank prospers, you, Father. Thank and we you, have Father. loosed all the grief and all the darkness over the years, even if we caused ourselves, Father. Your mercy is so far reaching. And God, right now I declare that your people are free, yeah. that they do have authority. I thank you for downloading yes. revelation into them right now Amen. about you, about Amen. who they really Amen. are that you Amen. have. They have your DNA. They have a, a deposit of the anointing that Christ gave us according to 1 John 2, 27. Then he said, we rule and reign with him, Father. We're going to take authority over the atmosphere around us, Father. Amen. We're going to declare and decree words of life from our words. Uh, comes rivers of living water into people, God. Help us to love one another. Help us to help one another, Father. And right now, we are now going to do the second half of this, God. We are now going to bind the things that, that you have for us to our yes, soul. And Father. everybody out there say this. I choose as an act of my will. I choose as an act of my to will. To bind the love of God to my soul. To bind the love of God to my soul. Now, these are going to come in waves. I just felt the first one. I choose to bind the life of God to my soul. I choose to bind the life of God to my soul. There's another way I feel it. I choose to bind the presence of God to my soul. I choose soul. to bind the presence of God to my soul. 
I choose to bind the joy of the Lord to my soul. I choose to bind the joy of the Lord to my soul. And I choose with my will. And I choose with my will. To bind the purposes and plans of God to well, my soul. To bind the purposes and plans of God to my soul. I receive Whoa. it. <laughs> I receive, I receive it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And no one or nothing can and take no this from me. And no one or nothing can take this from me. I hope you all are <laughs> praying the same as I'm praying. And now I declare. And now I declare. And I decree. And I decree. That my soul is whole. That my soul is whole. And that you desire. Oh. And that you desire above all things, above all things, that Father, I prosper, that I prosper, and be in health, and be in health, even as my soul prospers, even as my soul prospers. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. That this day, that this day, my soul prospers. My soul prospers. <laughs> I thank you for showing me. I thank you for showing me how to receive your love. How to receive your love and fill myself with you. And fill myself with you. <laughs> and speak words of life. And speak words of life. And declare and decree. <laughs> and de <laughs> decree. The, and decree. The things you think about me. The things you think about me. Because I belong oh, to you. Because I belong to you. <laughs> There's so much anointing. Father God, I thank you oh, for blessing all oh, those who are watching, God. Yes, that they Father. are free. And anyone who sees this later, oh, God, this is something the they can use Father. for the rest of their life. Anytime someone attacks you with words wow. or you're attacked in any way, you can turn right around Whoa. and choose to loose it immediately <laughs> from your soul. I would do Whoa. it on a weekly basis at least, but you can stay free oh. and be free. Amen. Oh. Thank you, Father, thank you, for Father. giving us the keys to thank the kingdom. Thank you, Father. Now, don't stop preaching. Yes, go I back, thank you. Go back and, I thank and you preach for on our the love. kingdom, mate. Yes. Preach on whatever and now, yeah, the I Lord wanna, I want to share now what the Father has to say. He has a timeline oh. in heaven, okay? He goes by his timeline. He doesn't go by man's. Thank God he doesn't go by the Mayans or we'd all be gone by now. But I want you to know that in his throne room, he has a timeline, and there is something marked on it right now for today. It's called the kingdom age. We are not living in the perilous times. The enemy wants you to believe that. He wants you to look at the doom and gloom and believe this is the end. But I want you to know the earth is crying out, according to Romans 8, for the manifested sons and daughters to stand up and make a difference in this world, to rule and reign with Christ. And you need to know that he chose you. If you're a believer, then you have a part in all of this. This is not about one person being in the spotlight anymore. God's using groups of people. He's using teams. We, we need each other. You know, I have a team that I depend on that helps me to do what I'm doing. And you know what? He's even going to use teams of pastors and churches. Isn't that awesome? This is the time. Let me tell you, according to Matthew, this is what we've all been declaring. Our Father who is in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on this earth as it is in heaven. You know, he's, he's, that is what he's talking about right now. That's the time we're living in. You're hearing more and more people say, on earth as it is in heaven. Well, let me know. I know what it is in heaven. I know the will of God in heaven. They live free. They live in joy. They live in prosperity. Okay. There's no darkness that can enter into their lives. They have no fear of what's going to happen to them because they're in him. They live in him. You know, on this earth, you can live in him. We receive him. You have to invite him into your life to have him. Then you invite the Holy Spirit to come and consume you. You know what? This is a special time on earth because it's different from all the ages in the past. This is the time when we're going to let this world actively see the kingdom of heaven alive in our lives. And you know that the host of heaven, the, the heaven's armies are pouring down by the millions into the atmosphere around this earth. They wait on our words. What we declare and decree, they are released to go and perform those things. So you need to know that we're not alone on this earth at this time. W what do you think the host are going to do? They don't have to defend heaven anymore. Anymore. They're sent here for us. Your guardian angels are sent here for you. You need to invite the host of heaven to be a part of this kingdom age in your life, okay? I am not talking about angel worship, okay? They wouldn't let you do that anyway. I'm talking about you need to recognize and just thank them for being here for you. You know what? That's important. Heaven is about to be... Uh, actually unveiled. And many people around this world for the first time will see angelic beings in the air helping to do miracles with the believers. This is a time when Jesus said we would do greater works than, than he did on the earth. 
and I'll let you know this is a time to be excited. Don't look at just the doom and gloom and think that's where it is. The Father says you have to see, you have to see beyond your nose. For those who have eyes to see, you need to see. And Father, right now I am part to all those who hunger to have their eyes open. I ask you to open their eyes that they'll see the angels around them, God, that they'll know there's more who are for us and those who are against us. So I declare and decree that this is his time to do his will on earth as it is in heaven. It's an amazing time to be alive. Nobody is insignificant. He loves all of you. He wants you free. He wants you to know him. You know, you can create a habitation for heaven in your own home. You can have something called an encounter room. I don't care if it's just a place in your home. Go there and spend a few minutes with him. Thank him for choosing you to be a part of this. And I want you to know that God never chooses the qualified. He qualifies the chosen. And you can choose to be chosen by accepting it with your will. And Father, I declare your will over their lives that they won't miss anything you have for them right now in this time, God. And I ask you to give them revelation, catch them up, give them encounters yourself, Father. You are so hungry to be with your children and you love them and I love them and Wendy loves them. I thank you, God, for establishing places and people on this earth that truly show your love, but will share the whole truth, Father. We need to know the whole truth so we can be free and stay free. And I, I, I let you know right now, you have authority over the enemy. Don't let him in the atmosphere of your home. Everywhere you go, you can release the God that's on the inside of you, release the anointing that abides in you. You know what it does? It burns the enemy. He doesn't like it when you use the anointing. Christ walked in it. It was in, the, in his garment. When the woman touched the hem of his garment, the disciples released it in the handkerchiefs and aprons and laid it on people and they were healed. You know why? Because the anointing breaks the yoke. And all this time, since you were a believer, you had a deposit of that put in you that Jesus operated in. You just need to, you know, if, I know everybody needs to hear God for yourself. So find time alone and say, God, I want you to confirm this to me. I thank you for loving me. I thank you for sending truth around this world, God, that there's going to be voices that will stand for holiness and for freedom, but share the supernatural because the day you became a believer, you became supernatural on the inside. I know God has great hope for you. He has plans for you. You need to know that you are not forgotten, not by your loved ones in heaven, not by the cloud of witnesses, not by the host of heaven. Every one of them are for you. I thank you, God, for just downloading your love. Let waves of love in your presence sweep through their home, God. And if they're in a place that they don't own, God, you teach them to release the anointing into everything there, and they can tell the enemy, we don't war against the people. We take authority over the power of the enemy controlling the people. If you're in a place that is not your own and there's a lot of darkness around you and it's vexing your soul, you need to get in a place by yourself and say, Father, I take authority over all the darkness that is here. And I say, you will not operate in my presence. I will not tolerate you being in my presence. We need to stop tolerating uh, the enemy attacking us, sickness in our bodies. You tell your sickness, I'm not tolerating you in my body right now, Father. I just release the anointing and everyone watching God to drive out every sickness, every disease, every infirmity. We say you will not attack people. You will not attack the body of Christ. It is ending in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, for reminding them who they are. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for teaching them the things of God, for bringing revelation to their lives. I thank you, Father, for loving them. I thank you for trusting me. It is an honor to love you on behalf of the Father and on behalf of heaven. And I thank you for allowing me to share this day with you truths that will change you forever. That anytime you're attacked by anybody, you lose that. Don't hold it in your soul. Don't let things remain in your soul because it'll build a stronghold. You choose to be free. You choose to stay free. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Father. Amen. 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 Father, we just thank, thank you, Father. you. Father, we just thank you. Now, you heard I was sitting over there. Whew. Whew. I can feel the anointing here. Oh. And I heard when, when you released some of that, when you yes. spoke, I can hear, I know, okay? So guys, just, we will replay this. It yes. will be on demand, but I know the power. I, you, you know too, okay? There is power that Kat released 
There is power. Mm -hmm. There is power that can release from here yes. at the altar. Yes. Power to, to just change lives. Power okay, to set free. I can feel. I know. <laughs> power oh, to deliver. Power. The power. Even when you think it's been impossible to be delivered, it's impossible to be set free. He says it's a lie. It's not impossible because nothing is impossible. All things are possible with me. Ha 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 ha. For I am your father. Who did he? Oh my Father, we release the joy. Yes, we release Father. your joy, Father. Yes, Father. Release it's your joy, Father. Your fun, release Father. Joy. Release fun. Release oh, fun yes. as a weapon. Release fun as a weapon, Oh, cat. fun. The difference oh. in the kingdom Whoa. age is love has always been a weapon with God. But let me tell you, the new weapon <laughs> you. is fun. And you need to know that the Father, Father wants you to have fun. <laughs> it's what they do in heaven. If it's going to be Religious. on earth as it is in heaven, Amen. then you have to have fun as a part Amen. of your life. Father, you know the enemy can't fun, touch you. Father. He can't mess with you when you're having fun like a little child. Mm -hmm. I know it's fun to be in his presence, but he means fun like a child. You need to laugh. It's like a medicine. <laughs> not only does it bring healing, it actually wards off the enemy. He does not want you to <sighs> laugh. And I can tell you in some of my <sighs> lowest times, I just sit up and laugh and with the Spirit of God, I laugh and the enemy fled. You need to know, I already told Jesus. you that it, I, I know you think, well, it's impossible. I don't have this or I can't go there. Don't look at what your ability is. Yes. He is unlimited on your behalf. So you ask him, Father, I ask for and receive fun right now in my life and not just today. I want it to become a lifestyle for me. So I thank you for making that possible. And I thank you in advance. I receive it in Jesus name. Amen. Fun is going to be a weapon in this time on the earth and it will shock this world when they see the body of Christ Amen. standing up, living free, being free, creating and inventing new things that are being sent from Thank heaven you. and having fun the whole time they're doing it. We will be the radical people on this earth, okay? We're supposed to be Thank the radical Father. people on this earth. We're supposed to be passionate about Him Thank and passionate about people, but walk free of all darkness. God is sending brand new ideas. There's a place in heaven called the Idea Zone. Right now, I want you to look up to heaven and say, Father, Father. I ask for and receive witty <laughs> ideas and inventions <laughs> from heaven so that I can put them in the marketplace. I want you to know God wants new entrepreneurs in the body. Christ. And he said he saved some of the best inventions and the best creations. And he said a That's lot right. of the wealth of the wicked right. is going to be spent on that stuff that you create and put in That's the marketplace. Right. He's going it. to we anoint it. it. He's going to appoint it into things it. that they can't make. And when you find something you can't make, they want that. The world is going to go to the marketplace and buy that stuff. So just get ready for new things. We're going to have new fashions. We're going to have, you know why? Because we are adapting to heaven. They have the most amazing cutting edge fashion styles in heaven, hairstyles in heaven, new new ways to have entertainment are coming to the earth that the whole family can enjoy. You know, instead of, you know, uh, being upset about what's out there, start calling it into this earth. Your words have power. Everything the father did, he spoke with his mouth. And you know what? We're supposed to create like him. We can't make people and things, but you can change the atmosphere. You can pull things down from heaven to this earth. You choose Amen. to do it. If you want the earth to be different, then you live different starting today. <laughs> Amen. And make sure you take time to laugh. The Holy Spirit says this, you have to pray and play if you want it to be on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Can we, can we just tell a father how much we love him? You, you, oh, you yes. Him. Oh, Fa I, oh, Father, I want you to know I you. adore you. I am so in love with you, you that you that revealed well, yourself to us, you Father, that him. you sent your son yes. who was the word and he took oh, on flesh. God. And there wasn't anything that was the made that wasn't strong. made by him, God. I know that he would step inside of you and you would go God. somewhere and you would speak and he would step out and he would make it. And yet he, in all that he had with you, he chose to come and die here for all those yeah. that he'd actually made to this world. He loves this world. He doesn't hate this world. He wants this world to rejoice and know him. So daddy, I want you to know yeah. that I love you. Wow. And oh my, my life gosh. is in you. <laughs> and I have had to lay down my life and everything to do this. I may not have died to go to heaven, Father, but I die every day to live for you. And I want you to know that you have those that love you 
and who will stand for righteousness and who will call heaven down to this earth. I thank you, God, for trusting us with your children. God, that you would see our hearts, that we would have your heart. God, I pray that they will have your heart and they will pursue a relationship with you. That's what your son wants. That's why he came, that you can know, Daddy, you can you're know so the beautiful. Father. You can know him now before you go to heaven. You need Daddy, to know so he beautiful. wants this. He wants this relationship with you. Daddy, and so everybody so would just beautiful. let's thank him. God, we thank you for your love. You're we so thank beautiful. you for sending us to this earth. We thank Daddy, you for trusting Daddy, us with so each other, beautiful. that we can love Father that we need to stop wrestling You're against so the beautiful. flesh and bless those, Father. Bless those even that curse You're us, so God, beautiful. because when we do that, it terrifies the enemy. The You're enemy so wants beautiful. you to fight back. When you learn how to bless those that are cursing you, it, so all beautiful. of heaven celebrates and they shout and laugh because you're acting like they are in heaven. I want you to know that he says to bless those that curse you and pray for those who despitefully so use you because what that does is it pulls the enemy away from the person you're doing so it. It opens up them for the father to pursue them. So if you want to be dangerous, so okay, he wants you dangerous against hell. I don't care if you're 99. I don't care if you're six years old. God made you to be different in this earth and to love for him. And so we thank you, daddy. You're that so you saw beautiful. a time on the earth when your children would stand up and begin to manifest your presence, beautiful. your likeness, your power, and your plans until the beautiful. glory covers this earth like the waters cover the sea. You are living in that time so right beautiful. now. Do not anymore say he doesn't care that he's here to destroy. This is not his time for wrath. This is his time for restoration. This is his time to set you free from debt. This is his time to empower you to rule and reign with Christ. Be excited that he trusted. You're and you so know what? Beautiful. He picked your Daddy. time. He picked your time right. when your birth would take place you on this like earth. Herself. You didn't choose that. Right. He did. Mm -hmm. He does not make mistakes. Mm -hmm. And no matter who your earthly mother and father is, your heavenly mm -hmm. daddy is for you and he mm -hmm. loves you. And we're going to pray for all of you. Because Father God, draw them into your heart, Father, that they know you like we know beautiful. you. And I thank you, God, that we will rejoice and celebrate with heaven this day, that this message has gone around the world, yeah. God. And right. I personally ask you to bless, bless, bless God TV. It's got your name Father. on it. It's That's got right. your purposes in Father's it, God. Name. This is your plan. This is a divine yeah. appointment right now. You have a divine encounter yeah, with heaven in this it, moment. We receive it. Pray yes. for God.